Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Gavin. Right now we are commemorating the solving of the 340 cipher of the Zodiac Killer by taking a close look at his victims and possible victims. Sunday, March 22nd, 1970. San Bernardino, California resident Kathleen Johns left her home at 4.30 p.m. on her way to Petaluma, California to visit her mother. The trip along Highway 132 would have taken her about 9 to 10 hours. Kathleen, who was seven months pregnant at the time, brought her one-year-old daughter with her on the trip. At about 11.30 that night, near the Central Valley town of Patterson, a car came up behind her and began flashing its lights. She pulled over, as did the car behind her. The driver of the other car let her know that her left rear wheel was loose. When she inspected the wheel, she discovered that he was right. There was only one lug nut on the wheel. The man offered to drive her to a garage, so Kathleen and her daughter got into the man's car. As they were about to leave, Kathleen realized she had left her keys in the ignition. The man went back to her car and pocketed the keys. They then headed down the road. Rather than take Kathleen and her daughter to a garage, the man just drove. According to Kathleen's statement, he rambled and rambled, and despite her pleas for him to just find a garage, he never did. He never made any advances on Kathleen. Apparently, he just rambled. After two hours of this, Kathleen found her opportunity to escape. As the car slowed to a stop at an intersection, she clutched her one-year-old in her arms, opened the door, and jumped out. The man in the car just drove off. She began walking down the road and was picked up by a farmer and his two sons. They delivered her to the police station. As she entered, she spotted a wanted poster with a sketch of the Zodiac Killer. She began to cry and scream, quote, that's the man, my God, that's the man who picked us up, close quote. About an hour later, Kathleen's car was found on Highway 132, burned. So, was this the work of the Zodiac Killer, as Kathleen thought? Did he have some sort of plan to get her into his car to murder her, but then have second thoughts when he saw her child, causing him to try to buy more time by just rambling on for two hours? Or is it possible this was the work of another serial killer who just chickened out? Or was it some delusional man with mental illness who bore a striking resemblance to the Zodiac Killer? Unfortunately, we won't ever know. The man was never caught, making this a mystery that remains unsolved. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.